Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to Ponty to Prem, episode 59, here on our road to glory, trying to win the Premier League with Ponty Pack Calories and taking them to Champions League glory. But first, today we take on... Great job. But first, we take on Nottingham Forest and Everton in our opening games of our second season in the Premier League. But we will go into our transfers, the ins, the outs, the changes, and our expectations for the season. Let's get straight into those transfers. That's the, probably the most interesting part of the game, isn't it? Bringing in new players. We will deal with the outs, and there's been quite a lot of outs. Um, so long to basically everyone <laughs> who got us promoted. Bye, have a beautiful time. Um, Pat Burke, we salute you. Very good, very, very good. How much did he cost us? It cost us nothing. I know it cost us 200k basically. Look at them stats. Amazing. Hero, he's gone back to his home country. See you later. Oh, Alabi, we knew. He's gone to Fenerbahce. Uh, maybe he could have got a lot more money for him, but he wanted a lot of money, and I've got someone in better, so don't you worry there. McKinney also going to Linfield. Steve McKinney, again, is a very good player for Linfield. Fair play, Linfield. He was free, he's gone for free. Good business, good business. Um, in regards to Robert Kakulovic, he's gone to HNK Gorica. Who are you? Very good player. We Did we pay money for Kakulovic? I don't think we did off the top of my head. Nope, completely free. Got him on loan. Played quite a few seasons for us. And again, pivotal, pivotal for us. He played some Premier League games as well. So good lad. Uh, John Smith, know all about him. We got some money for Chibuzi. We got an offer from Cardiff, so we just have to take it. You know, 775000 is not too bad. And Pablo de Mores. We sold him to the Mackham Scum of Sunderland. Uh, what league are they in? Are they in the Premier League? Uh, so they're, they're in the Championship. So Championship, Sunderland have taken on Pablo de Mores. He was rubbish. He played poorly, 6.8. I weren't, I weren't too keen. We've got him for 500k. We've sold him for nearly um, for nearly 4 million. Three and, a half, three and a half million. Can't complain. That's good business. So those are the outs. The ins. Let's have a look. First on the list is Jefferson Sandez, who is a 19-year-old Brazilian centre-back, ball-playing centre-back, who can play centre-back and right-back. He is very good at jumping. He's six foot one. He is right footed and he's only 19. We got him for 4.7 million pounds. He's already worth 21 to 25, apparently. So I want to, people want to pay for him. But very exciting talent. He's bolstering that defense. I say already better than Chibuzi and he is 10 years younger. Great bit of business. Um, this is on a side note, this is probably the best transfer window we've ever had. Uh, welcome, Matthias Hansen for 2.8 million. Look at the state of this 21 year old Norwegian, he's also fantastic. Uh, he plays uh, left wing or up front or center mid or advanced playmaker or attack. He plays everywhere. He's also amazing at heading, he's also six foot three, good jumping reach as well. So, he's a, he's a, a good person to have in the box. He's capped it, full cap for Norway. Phenomenal bit of business there. It took me ages to scout, by the way, on a side note. Another one. I spent literally hours looking through nearly every team, scouring the earth for players that are good enough, improve us, and will actually join us. I found way better players, but they can't. They won't play for us. For 3.7 million, welcome 18-year-old. DJ Poljak, who's already worth 44 to 69 million pounds, according to, I don't know. Um, he may have in his contract a release clause. There you go, 73 million pounds. Someone wants to pay that release clause, please just come and take him off my hands. I'll happily give him up. He's a fully capped uh, Croatian international. He's 18. He won't start for us, but my God, he'll make a difference when he comes on. He's only going to improve. Very, very happy with that. Next, a starter for us is Delabor Skapanovic. Look at this guy. He is made for that advanced playmaker on attack. Absolutely phenomenal. Maybe like a bit of teamwork. He cost us 5.75 million. He's amazing. <laughs> he's so good. He's not capped for Serbia. Why, I don't know. But he's, uh, yeah, 12 goals in 31 games for the Red Star Belgrade. Yeah, welcome him. He's already worth again. What you'll find is when they come to the Premier League, the market just for being in the Premier League will quadruple the value at the very least. Show me the money. 
But yeah, very, very happy with this guy. High hopes for Skipanovic. Another player from Red Star is 21-year-old, fully capped Serbian international Ruben Sanchez. Does not sound very Serbian, but that's by the by. He is our new hard-working centre midfielder. He is... Uh, yeah, he's great at box to box, which is what he'll be playing. He's like, look at those physical stats, and he's only 21. Cost us next to nothing. He only cost us 3.6 mil. Yeah, phenomenal. And uh, as you can clearly see, there's a plan. We're investing in youth because youth, A, will be better than what we've got typically already, but then the value, the, the sell on value through the roof, and the, also they will improve with us anyway. So the younger, the better. Disgusting! And our new. Record signing is Thierry Manduki from Bordeaux. He cost us a whopping £12 million. <gasps> he is a striker who can also play right wing. This is what he's going to be doing. He is our inside, he's our inverted winger. Where are you, Bosch? He is our inverted winger. His physical stats are amazing. His finishing's great. He's only 23. Not capped for France, but I mean, getting a French, French international would be next to impossible. Uh, but yeah, 24 goals in 89 games for Bordeaux. He's going to be playing wide, but we've got a lot of options in attack, as you can see. Um, so very happy with Manduki. Very, very high hopes for him. We also brought in a new right back, 19-year-old Marcelo Ray. Cost us 3.7. He's almost worth 10 times that amount. So, again, the business has been great. His area to improve is already starting to improve, as you can see. And, again, also young players have a significantly lower request for wages for now. But, yeah, he's going to be our new right back, our new full-time uh, complete wing back. Sorry, new attacking wing back. He's very, um, he's awesome. He's awesome. Hopefully, he'll be good. And last but not least, for £6 million, we have brought in a 20-year-old Argentinian wonder kid. Media description is actually wonder kid. Possibly our first wonder kid. I didn't really look at the rest of them. He is a new centre-back. Again, better than Oalabi. He's a ball-playing defender. 18 marking, 16 tackling. Great physicals as well. He's on a lot of money, £35,000. He's worth £30 to £36 million. He will be hopefully with us for a very long time a lot of our players that were brought in will have release clauses which is part of part and parcel of being a small team but again we'll sell them on for 10 times the amount that we paid for them this is the right way to build a club when we're not got big newcastle like man city like owners i'll just inject cash into us constantly but what has that done for our media prediction let's have a quick look at that <laughs> Our media prediction is rock bottom again. Fuck off. And we are still a thousand to one. So according to that, our odds are the same. We've not improved whatsoever. Uh, Middlesbrough are still uh, still predicted to win the league. Um, Nottingham Forest and Huddersfield are welcomed with us. Uh, Liverpool are predicted eighth. Newcastle sixth. This is just a weird league. It's why Middlesbrough? I really don't get it. Leicester, the champions, are predicted to come seventh. What you just said makes no sense to me at all. But yeah, that is where we are. The stadium's still not built to be ready for us next year, but we're still just selling out a stadium that's got nearly 10,000 more seats than what we've currently had, so that's going to be an issue. And we keep improving the training facilities. Our facilities aren't the best. We've had two batches of uh, training facility improvements, and we're still below average training facilities, so I'll request that again. But this is how we are going to line up in our next match. Oh, I was also able to... Uh, I tried to buy Miglietta so good tried to buy him didn't want to join us because Barcelona had we had an option in the loan to buy him but he just flat out did not want to play for us however he wanted to come back on loan so he's costing us four five thousand pounds a week to have our best one of our best players but great bit of business Dan Dwyer who we've had for a very long time actually I didn't realize how long we've had him on loan we've had him for this be his third season with us so he's again another cheap option at left back. He's our current number one option at left back. Seven grand a week we're paying him, which is mental. And the shit house that is Zuleika. He also did not want to join us, but again, he's a very, very cheap option on loan. And statistically, he's very good. Hopefully, he'll. He's basically second fiddle to to, to Dwyer, but he's, he's good good options there. This is how the team is going to line up against Nottingham Forest, which is already a must-win game because they are predicted 700 to 1, so if we can't beat these, we are shagged. Fuat, Ray, Miglietta, Fleetus, Dwyer, Sanchez, Ivan, Manduki, Skapanovic, Alsace, and Grenui. How many debuts are we having today? One, two, three, four, five. Five debuts. 
let's get behind the boys hit a like hit subscribe and comment below really want to try and grow the channel and uh yeah let's get behind the calls and let's make it one win in one here we go first highlight of the season hit ball looking for Alsace. he needs a big season with us as well he had a terrible uh debut dwyer joseph he's getting pressured by pontifract it is now butner green green oh it's a balls played long rogers is missed by ray rogers to ronaldo ronaldo they've got ronaldo manduki christney balls back post Dw dwyer didn't know what you were doing there mate but that was very calm from dwyer there amazing stuff from pontifract they've got ronaldo i'm very concerned fuat really milking this time wasting hits it long good newy it is back to nottingham forest this is not the start we wanted it is very scrappy football long ball hit Fleetus, yes, very good header there from Fleetus. Skapanovic. Oh, I got ball through to Gnui. He's at the bar. He's at the bar. That is great play there from the advanced playmaker and our striker linking up already. Gray. That's a poor kick there. Won by Alsace. Alsace on the wing. Back to Dwyer. Hopefully they can get a good relationship this year. Gnui. Gnui trying to pick his pocket and he does. Gnui! What the hell is even that? Oh no, don't have one of these days, please. Alsace is injured already. Friggin' amazing. On comes Matthias Hansen, who I, yeah, very happy with him as a, as a player. Hopefully he'll make a difference. Here we go, Sanchez. Hansen. Hansen. Sanchez, can he find someone? All the way to the back post. Miglietta. Heads it in. Gnui. Ray. Oh. Good effort, boys. Good effort from the throw-in. Ball hit long by Gray. It's won. Skapanovic puts in Manduki for a debut goal. Oh, what's going on? It's like watching a bunch of retards trying to fuck a doorknob out there. Well, all I can say is that we've dominated this first half of football. Pray that the second half, oh, kick, from kickoff, there's a highlight. Pray that we can get over oh, the got Ronaldo. Uh, that we can get something from this game. Rogers back to Reed. They haven't had a shot on target yet, so this would be a kick in the teeth if they do score. Joseph to Sule. Sule back to Green. Pressured, we're pressuring them all across the pitch. Hansen trying to win it. Buter, Green, Buter, Green. Don't let them whip the ball in. They've whipped the ball in. It's out Ronaldo. Can't be, it's not Cristiano because it'd say Cristiano Ronaldo, wouldn't it? Uh, Butner to Panzo. Patient build up here from Forrest. If they had a kick up the backside from their manager, they should because we absolutely dominated them. And this, for them, would also be a must-win game. Ronaldo, what can he do? Great ball to Cooper. And they've scored. I cannot believe it. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't start the season with a defeat. Panzo to Ronaldo. <laughs> Defence falls there. It's a great touch from Cooper. And goalkeeper, maybe should be doing better there. How is my defence having a good game? Ray whips it in. Miglietta! <sighs> and now Miglietta's got an injury. What is going on? I mean, Sandez is a good player to bring on. Ten shots on target here from Pontifact Collieries, and we are 1 0 down. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How have we lost that game? Hansen did not enjoy himself on the wing with a 6.1, but that's fucking terrible. That's terrible, boys. Oh, we lost at home to Nottingham Forest. Shit! Right, we'll move on to Everton. Wish us luck. Few moments later. Right, here we are. Um, right, from the back, the team is Fuat, Ray, Fleetas, Jefferson San Sandez, Dwyer, Sanchez, Ivan, Jennings, Hansen, Zuleika, and Gwenui. A couple of the players are tired because we played Saturday, now it's Wednesday, so it's a bit of a, it's a Sunday, and now it's Wednesday, so it's a bit of a short turnaround. Um, get behind the boys, we kind of have to start getting results quickly, so pray that we can beat Everton. Oh, highlight very quickly. This is not what I want. Uh, although, again, the, the team is the team is better. The team is better. I mean, we were lost against a poor a poor team, but I am confident this year that we can stay up easier than we did last year. He says that, and we're going to go down 1-0, aren't we? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. One, one and a half minutes. Elliot. Connolly. Oh, <laughs> Elliot. Rafael Brito. Lovely regen. All right, 1-0. Well, we're now in the relegation zone. I don't think we ever were in the relegation zone last year, come to think of it. Wow, the only highlight was their goal in the first minute and a half. Jesus Christ. But, well, the second half can only get better. I mean, we've had 
Total of six shots on target. None of those have been apparently a key highlights. There must have been some uh, some long ranges. I'm not enjoying what I'm seeing. I am going to bring on Polak, Jennings. Obviously, you're playing shit. On comes Majuki. It's a very tightly contested game so far. If we look at the stats, they've had more efforts but less on target. Two very boring minutes later. Pizarro, here is Everton. What can they do from this throw in? Pizarro. Whoa, I'm not even going to try that name. Oh, not Brito. They have got, they've got us penned in here. Here come, here come Everton. What are they working in the box in Harvey Elliott. Oh, battling in the pain for Pontefract. In front of all the gingers. So many gingers. I'm just low energy at the minute, guys. I'm just, I really thought this season would get off to a much better start and we're just getting absolutely annihilated. I mean, what are this, the defending position in there and all these players on the edge of the box? It's a bit of a shit show, isn't it? Okay. Um, well, that was fucking dreadful. Okay, so we're second bottom. Well, that's bad. Um, and we have the only team to play two. That is an awful start. Uh, let's have a look at the run that we've got. So, lost the first two. Our preseason was so good. A 5 nil a 6 one a 5 nil a 7-1. You know, FC20 are all right. We're now away to Middlesbrough. And then Watford, Man City, Newcastle. Oh, just, just this league is just, just relentless, isn't it? So we'll be back around this sort of time. Uh, yeah, this might be a lot harder than I anticipated. Um, but yeah, I need your support. So hit a like, hit subscribe and comment below. I'm, I'm just so, I'm so gutted. Do you think we have a shred of hope? No. Let me know in the comments. And as always, guys, take care because we're getting relegated.